under no circumstance would I ever try to have a discussion or debate if I check into an Airbnb and somebody's in there. I'm out. I don't care what they do, but I'm out. And one day, somebody will actually take my advice and do the same. But in this film, no one does. <laughs> so let's jump into my review of the new film, Eight Found Dead, and talk about these eight people that were found dead because they did not want to listen. Let's start that right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the film Eight Found Dead, which made its world premiere this year at Screen Fest 2022. Now, listen, I it's simple advice, folks. If you check into an Airbnb and someone's in there, you should just leave. It's it doesn't work out for you here. It never does. There's enough case study. <laughs> There's enough evidence that shows you that. That person that's entering the place when somebody's already there, you probably should go. Period. The movie Barbarian, case study number one. The movie The Rental, case study number two. This, case study number three. Just roll out, folks. And the fact that the synopsis highlights two couples take a weekend getaway in the middle of the desperate, this shows you that, hey... There's a lot of stupid people out there. <laughs> I'm not negotiating. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, but anyway, that bit of my bit of commentary, which made this film overly enjoyable to me, because I just kept talking about all the things that I knew I wasn't going to do. Um, so, in, in, in fact, I didn't really love this film. I didn't hate it, but I was super entertained. And I thought, like, the acting by the leads were great. I mean, talking about Tim and uh, Roseanne, who plays Richard and Liz, uh, who is the older couple who is chilling in the Airbnb. As people start to say, like, hey, I thought we had this. It's like, ah, no problem. You could come in with us. Yeah, they're former actors, and they seem very innocent, but they're anything but that. <laughs> That's just what it is. Um, and things start to get very interesting and and the film bounces between the different couples and you also have uh two cops who's also uh uh had a lead on this case you know they come to a crime scene they're trying to figure it all out um but we also kind of get an establishment of who these two cops are one is a drunk and they make that very clear uh which is i mean obviously a liability to things and completely not condoned by any cop to be a drunk uh, so that, I think that that I think that aspect of it makes the film um it, it makes it unrealistic on purpose so that you can enjoy this as just more of more or less a comedy with the horror aspect to it. They didn't want you to take it too serious. They didn't want to kind of I guess make this feel into another genre of more like a murder mystery aspect. I think this was just a, a, a straight horror film with some comedy attached to it. Um, and, 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 and very little comedy because the performances by Tim and, and Roseanne are really like sadistic here. Like they're, 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 they come off as if they're like normal folks. Then they slowly start to unravel and just become unhinged. And then after that, they're out here trying to do what they need to do. And so there's that. Um, but, 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 but with that though, you know, they try to establish a level of trust. Um, and, 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 and then that trust sort of turns into deception. And, and, and so with that, the film just feels eerie the entire time because there's so many moments where you're like, oh, they're just innocent older folks who just are trying to have fun because, you know, they're former actors and this is sort of their lifestyle to kind of, you know, be very, uh, ha have these larger than life personalities and, and play characters and whatnot. But then it's really hard to kind of distinguish what's what for them. And so at times it feels trusting, but at sometimes it feels very untrusting. And I mean, they're very intrusive. I mean, the questions, their interrogations, all sorts of different things that make these these renters very uncomfortable. Yet some reason they start to stick around. Even when some tried to leave, for whatever reason, they were still able to keep them around. It wouldn't have been me, so I'm just whatever. But anyway, yeah, so the, 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 the film bounces around to the different vi victims and their visit in the different times. And then, like I said, the police investigation, um, which, as I said, one is completely drunk while working, which is, huh. 
But yeah, it definitely spotlights the, the horrors of Airbnb over and over again because somehow we keep getting it is. Um, I think it's such an easy thing for folks to do, so why not? <laughs> you know, and they're enjoyable to be honest, like because so many idiots out here probably would do these type of things, you know, and 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 not think of the better of their their safety and their well being, but just the the sack the the sake of like convenience. Like, oh, if I just stay, I guess it's just easier. No, you should leave. You should leave, and you know. There's a little bit of an erotic side to this, too. Things get a little freaky at times, which I wasn't really expecting, but, you know, here we are. Uh, and I also think at times, too, they use some really, some, some like, really cool cinematographer, cinematography and editing uh, um, uh, st uh, tricks, should I say, um, in the production. Like, this freeze, freeze frame shots that I thought was done to really heighten certain moments of the film. And I was just kind of, I, one, I haven't seen something like this in a while. Uh, so I was like, whoa, that's that's cool. I, I love that. I thought that the techniques that they've used in the cinematography and the editing are really, really uh, was 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 satisfying and, and cool. And also I thought it, the execution just made some of these scenes work even better. Um, so something different, you know, I, I enjoyed that. And, and I also think there's also a final girl aspect to this as well, too, which, you know, all our, our, our horror lovers who love a good final girl, I think that that was something I didn't really see. And the way how that kind of worked was kind of unpredictable. But hey, here we are, you know. Um, and then there's a mid credit scene. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. So, uh, again, this, this, this was a film that I thought was very easy to digest. You know, that the concept of what was happening um that the performances really made things flow um and it was nothing really tricky to it you know we basically got to know each one of these couples and and the couples individually and we got to know you know richard and liz the the the, the folks who are just in the airbnb when everybody get there and 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 you know they're they're they're, they're very you know tricky deception of uh, deception of of characters that they have are just um it hell it'll trick you as a viewer because <laughs> i'm sure you i'm sure you're going to be guessing yourself by the end of the film like man they actually did seem pretty nice but oh yeah they're they're terrible people they're terrible people um so yeah you know this 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 is a film that i say definitely go out the way and check out um eight found dead was definitely um very unexpectedly entertaining to me so yeah jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about it and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon